All right, well, think about these questions when it comes to the idea of beauty. Does it exist as an objective standard? Can it be reduced to a formula? And is there a cost to beauty? And is it actually worth paying? Hmm. Hmm. Well, these are all addressed in a series of short skits done by the Carport Theater. To tell us more, Kathy Keller, Paul Scott, and Carol Reinhardt all join us this morning. Thank you all so much for being here. You're welcome. Oh, it's wonderful welcome. to be here. Well, Kathy, tell us more about the theater itself. Well, the theater is a community theater space, and it actually exists within a carport. And this is our fifth production. Um, so we've done it five years in a row. And we um, have uh, mainly neighborhood folks get involved, some folks who have stage experience, some folks who don't, who are stepping out of the envelope and trying something new. I love that. And yeah. I know we've had you on the show before. The, the yes. members have come on. Now, you guys always kind of tackle different topics, different themes, and this time we're doing the idea of beauty, which by the way I think is very timely mm -hmm. and I think it's a very interesting topic. So kind of tell us a little bit more about how you're tackling that. Well, we're tackling it the way that we have tackled other ideas in the past, which is we have some skits that are totally humorous, yeah. some skits that have more like a sociological angle, um, some that are poetic. So we're really trying to look at this idea from a lot of different angles. Um, because it's a big question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The idea of beauty. Mm -hmm. I love it. So give us, give us a dive more into what we're going to um, see in this particular production. Well, there's going to be a little bit of a scientific aspect to it um, with some questions relating to whether there's an actual formula. Historically, um, there have been um, uh, things like the golden mean to come up with what's perfectly harmonious. But we're also going to have some very funny uh, skits. The one is um, a uh, beauty contest of male beauty through the ages. Um, and then we're going to have a dance piece that really is um, going to explore for all of the performers what beauty means to us and where it can be a kind of painful thing to be grasping for or where it can be just this wonderful recognition where we radiate beauty and we see it everywhere around us. You really are, like you said, tackling it from a bunch of different angles. Yes, we I are. know, Carol, how long have you uh, been with Carport, past, present, future? Are you in the skits that we're talking about right now? Yes, I happen to be in the skit. This is my third year. Uh -huh. And um, a friend of mine told me there was a theater in my neighborhood, and I, I went walking one Friday night, and I found Carport Theater right around the corner. And uh, the cool thing about it is that we have a very diverse neighborhood. We have um, Somalian refugees and ne Nepalese refugees and blue-collar workers, white-collar workers, retirees, and everybody is welcome to participate in this and express artistically in a very non-threatening manner. <laughs> so yeah. so um, I was drawn to that. And I'm a flamenco dancer, so my, my piece is going to be um, related to the origin of flamenco, what the um, gypsies went through historically, the kind of the painful transition they made to all the different countries in Europe and what it has become today, the form of beauty that has come to become today. Wow. So. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. And now, Paul, we know you're a new performer with this organization, so tell us, what's your experience been like so far? It's been very positive. I, was, I, was, I, I met Kathy. Uh, she, uh, she told me about her production and the history of it, and I was actually looking to scare myself into doing something that I that is totally unrelated to what I have done in the past and it's been an extraordinary experience so far I I, I threw myself into the deep end of the pool <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm uh, I'm still alive uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's it, you know it's g getting better every week with our practices uh, I'm doing some things that I never thought I'd be doing my kids think it's a riot and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the final production, and I think I'll, uh, I'll uh, enjoy doing this. You know, I wish more people would have that output. Kind of do mm. something that's out of your comfort zone, and you never knew you loved something that was out there. I think that's a great idea. And now, I wanna, we do want to hit on the fact that there is kind of like a visual art component uh, to the show. Yes. Um, and our shows in the past have involved artists from different mm -hmm. uh, media. And uh, this time we have Tracy Brown. In fact, she's participated before. And um, she has done <coughs> work about the kind of the ravages of fashion. Um, 
that we are going to comment on in the show because we're going to have little fashion segments. So her artwork, um, her series is called Fashion Monsters, is going to actually be enacted um, during uh, the little vignettes between the skits. And <laughs> the concept was by Diane Warren, who is also a dancer in the show, and she made the costumes for Tracy. So much to see. Well, I am going to tell everyone how to get the tickets to come see you guys, but I want to thank you again once more for coming and letting us know. This is a great idea and a great topic that you guys have chosen, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you can catch the Idea of Beauty May 14th and 15th at 7.30 p.m. at the Carport Theater. You can reserve your tickets by going to kathykeller.com or by calling 409 3473